before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and today we are continuing with our Ruby series doing season 6, volume 6, chapter 3, The Lost Fable. Sorry, I haven't had chapter names for these last ones. And before I forget, as always, support Rooster Teeth and, you know, Ruby, they deserve it. It's a good show. Uh, it, Blah, blah, blah. We really appreciate you guys for giving us suggestions, telling us to watch Ruby and all the Ruby side stuff, what order to watch them in. And if you want to do more of that, you know, comment, like, subscribe below. You can see new content every day. We do different content every single day that you can check out. Maybe you won't like it, but maybe you will. As well as you can check out the full versions of these up on our Patreon. I would put them on YouTube. I'm not allowed. Uh, so, with that said, we're going to get along to the next piece, which is that chapter. Let's go ahead and kick it off and have a great time. I don't watch intros. People know this. I don't watch intros. I hate spoilers. I don't watch intros. Freedom. All could wield. That's interesting. Oh no, it's probably Ozpin. Ozma. Interesting. That looks way more cartoonish. That looked like a cartoon image. No. Oh. Happily after, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. She's going to have him reincarnated. So she reincarnates him, yeah. So they won't help her, so she goes to the dark? Something. Maybe not. Who knows? So he's the elder brother, huh? Fall to ruin. That's pretty big words for that. Shit. This is how the Grim come to be as well? Because I hear no mention of him yet. Oh, wow. He's got horns. Is he the Faunus' god? Like, did he make the Faunus, I mean? Probably humans, too. Who does this voice acting is not bad.
Yeah, so she did it herself. Can you blame her? I won't. <laughs> I'm not going to blame her for that. Said heel might say yes. Hey, that's way too real-ish. But not, it doesn't match, right? It looks different, the skeleton. Interesting. Uh, they went with the tropey devil stuff. Walking backwards, gold horns and shit. Grim. Okay, so they exist before. Somehow something's going wrong for sure here. By the way, in most theologies, it's an incorrect depiction of creation being more strong than destruction, right? Or else entropy wouldn't happen. You would have over-creation, you'd have like the Cancerverse from Marvel. He's got a good voice, too. A great, glorious Eastern dragon. So she's going to freak out. Okay. Take advantage. She's still the god of darkness's powers. Once again, at this point, I honestly am feeling like it's kind of fucked up on the God of Lights part. Like, yep, their fault. Their fault. Nope, you guys just made the biggest problem in the world, and it's your fucking fault. Because now she's going to make it her mission to destroy the whole world. So right now, for me, the villains of this story is the God of Light and the God of Darkness. Everybody else is just dealing with their decisions. Yes, they were. Which means they're not omnipotent, by the way.
to be fair, are, is anything they're saying wrong? If the gods aren't willing to give it, why wouldn't they take it? Dumb. Once again, they deserve this. I hope those two gods die. Fucking, I really do. They won't because they're gods, but... So he took it away. See, that is god power. World affecting power. Look at the difference in art. This is like avatar art. It's not like ruby stuff. Oh, did he just kill him? Remnant, the world of Remnant. I mean, pretty shitty creators from what I've seen so far. So that's how the chunk of the moon got blown out. She just doesn't have enough power yet. Once again, if they're fallible, they're not perfect. She can get enough power. Now I'm on Salem's side. I hope she kills everybody and destroys those gods. It's their fault. Well, it wasn't really her fault in my opinion, so... She didn't kill her person, and... Yeah, sorry. You're gonna have a real hard time convincing me that the... Yeah, that doesn't necessarily track. Let's say if they took all humans, then how do people continue to exist? The gods must have done something else. Somebody must have done something else. Once again, I'm, I'm really of the opinion that these piece of shit gods are at fault. So once again, it's like, oh, well, it's not their fault. The gods made everything. Therefore, they also made the disease that killed fucking Ozma. Period. Point blank. No, no, that was, that was you too. What do you mean at the hands of my brother? What the fuck? What kind of bullshit, t bullshitter is this God of Light? Are you kidding me? How, if they're gone, that makes no fucking sense. What the fuck? This is, this is bad, guys. I'm waiting for you guys to... You were the last human, but more humans are coming. Are they making more humans, or are they just gonna show up? Uh... Which sucks, because they just did this really good piece of, like, long-term writing with the moon.
So, so the goal then should be to get enough power to kill the gods when they show up, summon them, kill them, take their power. I don't like anyone who puts themselves up above when they make mistakes like these guys do. Once again, they're not infallible. They thought they teach Salem a lesson. Yeah. He's... Because of the gods. Yeah, these are some really shitty gods, man. Period. Then again, most of them are. So where did all these humans come from? That's my question. Where did all these humans come from? Did Salem make her own humans to have an enemy? But is it Salem? Probably. Hey, it is. Oh. Destroy the gods. Take over the world. It was their fault. Absolutely their fault. Said it was. It said that uh, they wrote this in a way that it very much gives pause that the the gods are absolutely could be a fault. More divided than before. I'm guessing that's Salem's power. Oh, maybe they're power together. Okay. Still haven't seen anything wrong. She still ain't done shit wrong. Oh, they had kids. But they have to watch them all die. 
sadness. Of course she has pad powers. Oh no, something's wrong. One sec, recording. That's a little evil. It's pretty evil there. Let me guess, they hurt the kids in the ensuing battle? Yeah, they changed that animation style there. You can absolutely see that it's not done in the in the fucking program, whatever they're using for the their rendering. She can't die. He can die, but he just keeps coming back. So he did ask. I figured they'd... Sometimes there's no answers to questions we want to have, yeah. So, that was what I thought. If there was a reason that he hadn't done it, there was a reason. So I'm glad that they explained it. Now, hopefully they explain how all the humans came back. <laughs> like, just randomly. It's like... It's been weird like that since Frieza Planet number 1450 mysteriously repopulated itself. I can see the future! God's the best! But yeah, that, that, that's what that really hit me with, where it was like, what? Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X, with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support, and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.